Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. Guys, it is um, a very stormy day here in East Tennessee land. And um, if you didn't see the other video I popped off here this afternoon, it was about the P. Diddy thing, and I'm not going to get into that in this video, but links in the video description below to that, is um, I don't know what the deal is with people's minds right now. But if you don't feel this shift in the air, this energy shift, I don't know what's going on because I feel like many, many believers, myself included, that there is something being spoken to our spirit vibrationally. I can just feel it just sitting here. I can feel it just saying this. Uh, I just feel this this shaking inside and, and, and not like fear and trembling, just like something's off, something's changing, something's different. And I'm telling you straight up that we are at the threshold at the time of the end of the Gentiles. The other day, I seen a video of a camp of Hebrews that I prefer not to mention. I don't want to give them any validation, good, bad, indifferent, or anything. But there was this camp <coughs> that was on TikTok. <clears throat> People had filmed that they marched through Springfield, Ohio. And here's the thing, if if they weren't so militant, if they weren't so anti toward the Gentiles and hateful and not wanting to see people saved and entering the kingdom, I would totally endorse these people. I would have endorsed them a long time ago, but I've watched their spirit. I won't connect with it. Matter of fact, I've seen people in Torah community go at it with them that are Hebrews. That's enough for me as a Gentile to know I'm on off base, not having nothing to do with it. But... For the sake of this conversation, I watched them people march through Springfield, Ohio the other day, and it was a massive amount of people. And this awakening will not be suppressed. And two things are happening simultaneously right now, and I've spoke on this now into the decades, okay? That video I made alone, documentary about the true Hebrew Israelites on YouTube, uh, going on 10 years ago now. I've been in the know on stuff like this for a long time. It is documented. It is proof positive. This ain't like Luke just woke up tomorrow or yesterday or today or whenever and all of a sudden it just come to me. I've known about this for a long time. I've spoke about this day coming for a long time. I've seen this awakening happening from the ground, like from the grassroots effort. I've helped try to promote it. And I want y'all's kingdom to come. I want you to understand something. In the world that I see to come, there will be all nations in it. Okay? Uh, let, me, let me just paint you the new kingdom so you understand where Luke's coming from. The new kingdom, where the Most High Yah is with man. And that Messiah is sovereign over all the earth. King David rules, again, on a throne over Israel. And that the nations will come up to the New Jerusalem to worship the sovereign king, uh, uh, or sovereign Mosiah, all right, and, and bow before the king. Like, I'm telling you, there is a world coming, and the Isra Israel will be the kings and priests of the new earth. They will be the ones teaching and um, administering in it and stewards in it, and um, you're going to see a different kingship coming up. You're going to see a different world coming up. It's going to be a peaceful world. This world here is an, uh, a steaming pile of uh, dog-ish, okay? I'll just keep that as clean as possible, okay? Because I know young ears watch my content, and I appreciate that, and I want to reach the young people, especially more than anybody. I want to reach young people. Um, because us, all, uh, you know, I'll just call myself an old head now because I'm about to be 40, and then the elders, actual elders, we all going to do whatever we're going to do at this point. I mean, you're either in this thing or you're out. That's just is what it is. <clears throat> so, you know, the for, especially for the undecided youth, you got to understand that the time of the Gentiles, the time of the nations is coming swiftly to an end. You see earthquakes on greater scale now than ever before. You see wars and rumors of wars greater scale now than ever before. There is so many signs of Matthew 24 on the wall that we honestly would need a checklist to for me to set before me right now and go down through it note for note to make sure I don't miss anything because it's that much going on. I mean like there's pagans 
literally talking about the river Euphrates. There's people that are non-believers talking about the river Euphrates drying up. And even if you think that the United States of America is the old land, all right, the old world, and the river Euphrates is the Mississippi, guess what? We're all covered. It's drying up too, from what they've said. It's the river level's been lowest it's ever been. So, I mean, I got you covered, bro, okay? So, I'm, and I'm not trying to take shots at nobody. I'm just saying, like, we get like all these debates that we're all having or, or studying or kind of confused on or whatever the case may be, man. Like, it's getting so wild out here. You can almost cover it on all bases. So, just rest easy. But the, the, the melting down of this country, I almost feel like that, you see, I, like, I always get these, like, I wouldn't say they're premonitions, but, like, these, these feelings that um, before things happen. I've been getting dreams ever. I mean, it is nuts how many dreams I get when I sleep anymore. And I just feel like that after November 7th, I feel like November 7th, uh, and not that I care about the election, but I feel like November 7th is like that last little nail going in the coffin of this nation. And it is the solidification of how the death will be. Like, I feel like this republic is dead. Okay, like, you gotta understand, November 7th, the life support gets pulled. Um, like, we're on life support at this moment, okay? Um, and, and what's going to happen is, is we just gonna know which day, way this republic will die. Okay, that'll be settled out. And as America falls, and as I said in that other video, uh, touched on with the P. Diddy thing a minute ago, is that is America dies and you watch this BRICS nation thing rise and Turkey join in the end being the 10th king uh, 10 kings of revelation i believe that it will be them um you know uh joining in this thing is that like i said in another video if you give me ten thousand dollars us dollars right now or ten thousand dollars of bricks money i'd want the ten thousand dollars bricks money because i know i'm gonna have to spend a power with it like i if, if somebody was gonna hand me and not to talk about money right now uh on sabbath day but i'm just telling you like right now if you said uh, how do you want your money like i bet well number one i'll take it in bricks Number two, I'll take it in Bitcoin. And lastly, I'll take it in U.S. dollars. Like, that's how low respect I have for the currency of this nation. And as I said in that other video, too, I know people think that I hate this country. I love my fellow man. I love my countrymen. I don't care your white, black, Asian, Hispanic, non-Hispanic, Latino. I'm trying to check all them boxes, you know, on the ethnicity uh, sheet that they give us all the time. Alaskan, Native Indian, blah, 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 blah. Uh, whoever you are, I don't care. Love you. Want to see you winning. I wish everyone in this world was winning. Because you know what? If we were all winning, nobody would be losing and nobody would be killing each other. And I ain't trying to preach communism either. I'm talking true winning. Uh, but that ain't the world we live in. It is by intent that we live in a world that's like that too. So I'll just go ahead and clarify that out. Is that what we're seeing though, it's going to ramp up and you got two pillars at the same time, one crumbling and one being raised up, is that the United States of America, uh, if it gets burnt with fire from these ten kings like Revelation talking about, I mean you gotta you gotta think. The two meanest dogs on the block always fight. The two biggest bullies always fight. All right. This it, somebody's always gotta be number one and somebody's gotta be number two. All right, and I I can't remember if it's Dale Earnhardt said it or whoever, but the, the you know second place is first loser. All right, and rest in peace, Dale. Boy, he's a heck of a race car driver. I missed him. Uh, still miss him, but uh, miss my dad too, man. He loved loved watching Dale race. That was that was our thing. But uh, anyway, when when this all shakes out, right, is that you're gonna have. America's demise at hand uh, after November 7th, and then especially with this BRICS thing, gold standard returning. Then you have this, uh, you have this uh, serious thing creeping up here that people don't see, paying attention to, ain't vibing with it, is that you have these Hebrew Israelites coming online. They tell you something, they figured out who they are. There's an awakening taking place. It ain't gonna stop. These folks, are going to be hurt. The Most High is going to make sure and regather his people. Uh, I don't know exactly how every mechanism and cog and gear is going to turn that transmission when this thing starts fully going. I don't know what it's all going to shake out like. I don't know. Well, you know, if I, I hope I make it in the new kingdom. I hope I'm counted worthy to life when the judgment bar is passed over me. I mean, when I look at myself, I'm like, lust of the flesh is my biggest sin. I will steal nobody, kill nobody. 
uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, like, it's always been women in my life. <laughs> that's all he's seeing, man. And it's all world that's, that's, that's been my one thing. So I'm not too deeply concerned on the rest of the stuff in life. I just need to be vigilant about the other. But, you know, like, it just, I see the writing on the wall. Like, if it was like Daniel standing in Babylon and that hand's writing on the wall, what was many, many TKL you far seen? I believe is what it was, is uh, you've been weighed, you have been measured, and you've been found wanting. Boy, let me tell you, at hand is a moving. It is a writing on the wall. You hear that thunder? At hand is a moving, and the writing is on the wall for this country. I'm telling you, it is dark days ahead. And I don't, I, I don't hate, like I said, I don't hate my countrymen. I hate this construct because people think, this country's for us, right? When you read the Constitution, it was for a certain set of people. When you fast forward now and you look at the Patriot Act, that was to take freedoms away from people. There's nothing patriotic about the Patriot. Patriot Act is one of the most terrorist things ever done in this country uh, by its leaders to this day, in my personal opinion. Um, this whole lockdown that we went through was the second one. Of, well, I don't even know which one's put at first place they're both just atro atrocities and so you know I, I, to me I know that I'm probably going to be caught up in conflict at some point I don't know how any way we can avoid it but you got to understand that the time of the Gentiles is coming to an end the time of the nations Gentiles nations okay the nations time of the nations are coming to an end you soon going to see Messiah sitting ruling with a rod of iron right on that uh, throne, and it is going to be a different world that you live in. I hope you're okay with it. I hope you can find peace with it. Uh, I'm not pandering to Hebrew Israelites either. Like, I, if I was a Hebrew Israelite, I'd tell you the same thing. Like, this is just what's happening. It's what the book says. You can either join the club or you can be on the house. As for me, I, my house will serve Most High Yah and keep his commands, and I hope I'm counted as common wealth of Israel and have an inheritance in the new kingdom as well. And you know, whether I'm um, a servant to the crown or, or a free man or whatever, um, my thing is I'll have eternal life. I will have the access to the tree of life. These things matter to me. You know, like, I don't want to perish. I don't want to die. I'll tell you one number one reason I don't want to even die in this life is because I have fought too darn hard to learn the truth to not live it out and see the judgments passed out. I, I'm telling you what, right now, yeah, you know that song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, Coming Forward, Carry Me Home. All right, well, that was a slave song, a slave song, right? The Hebrew song, whenever they were in bondage, you know, and um, here in this country. And, you know, I, I'm telling you what, if the right now the chariots of Most High Yah come down here and was loading everybody up, Take them home, right? And there's this rapture. And everybody keeps preaching about that. You know ain't happening. <laughs> it ain't happening, bro. Uh, but anyway, you're going to see that real fast when that first trumpet pops off. Boy, old Luke was right on that, too. You can hate me for that, too. But whenever that does happen, if that happened tomorrow, I'd be like, hey, if it's okay, can you come back and circle the wagons back and pick me up afterwards? I would like to stay and witness everything that's about to transpire because... When I see all this calamity, and I do go before the judgment bar and am counted worthy to life, y'all willing, I will never, never, never want to repeat the sin. No matter how much something could want to conjure up in my mind, I'm not going to want to participate in that because I have seen the suffering of humanity. I've seen the results of sin. And I, because of that, I do not want to participate no more. And... Um, and that's what I would say, honestly, right now. I would choose that. I would choose that path because I want to see that. I want that validation too. Um, that what I read in the word followed through. And it's following through. I mean, as I've said, uh, you know, River Euphrates drying up and all these prophetic things, earthquakes, all these things taking place, the birth pangs, we can feel it, we can see it beginning to ramp up. And the Israelites, let me tell you something. They ain't ignorant to it. All right, I'm telling you, they has been an awakening. Let's see, I made a Hebrew documentary 10, almost 10 years ago. And since that 10 years ago, I, I mean, this decade, it is unreal at the awakening.
that is transpiring before us. It is it is just absolutely paramount. And it's not going to be stopped. And as this nation crumbles, as these nations fall by sword, by famine, by plague, by whatever, e economical, um, you're going to see a massive regeneration. Uh, you're going to see this awakening, that dry bones of Israel stand up. And you're going to see a lot of Gentiles that have been lied to come out of Babylon and turn to the Torah and to King Yah and to Messiah and to keeping them Ten Commandments and to eternal life. And you can get mad about it. You can get in your feels about it. But just like right now I'm sitting here on this porch and this storm's just uh, coming in and it's just throwing rain and a wind and a lightning. You can either get comfortable with the struggle bus or you can absolutely fall under and get rolled over. But I'm going to tell you, you better figure out real fast, baby, where you stand. Because change is coming. And it's change you can believe in. All right? <laughs> we get political. We get like the political signs here, right? Change is coming. And it's change you can believe in. Because it's going to happen in front of your face whether you like it or not. And you can just deal with it. That's the facts. And, um, <clears throat> you know, it's, um, <laughs> it's just how it's going to be. And so I, I just, I want everybody that, especially like myself, that's a Gentile, that knows the truth, that loves y'all, to try to find some kind of peace and solace in this because it's a weird, it's a weird moment for us. Uh, it's just the last things I'd say, uh, guys, now I'm going to get out of the flood out here and the storm, uh, is that you got to understand that we're watching a grand thing play out on the world stage inside this geostationary flat earth under a firmament dome where we're watching this world thing play out on the stage and we're just we're kind of bystanders at the moment because this great controversy that's being played out between the kingdom of Yah and of, of Satan's kingdom currently is that there's a change in the guard okay and so the Israelites are going to be back doing what they do and they're going to have their kingdom and the nations are going to be subdued. They're either going to get with the program or they ain't going to be part of the program. Okay? And so those of us that have accepted the truth, they love y'all, they love his people, they love our neighbor, they try to do the tenets of the book and of the Torah scroll, uh, you know, and what all the law and the prophets said, um, and Messiah reiterated and reemphasized and Lord magnified when he come, we're... We're on the the situation right now where we got a deal because we have done our part. Okay, we have accepted the truth. We have acknowledged Him. We have acknowledged His word is true. We have acknowledged His people. We've been good to our neighbors. We're doing the law. We're doing what we can. But this thing's got to burn. Okay, so you're you're kind of at a at a situation where you're watching you know all the fluff being burned off right like it's like this field that'll let go fallow we're going to burn off you know and that way it can be used as spring like we've got to let the tires be burned off we've got to let that thorough separation be done and it's hard because we got to suffer in the midst of all this right now because of the wickedness of the world this construct this matrix that's around us and so right now i know it's been very hard on people's mental health it's been hard on my mental health i've had to a day of atonement, I said, enough. I'm going a different direction. I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking on this the way I have thought on it because I've got, I mean, I've got to get with the program. And so you've got to change the way we look at this. And I know right now it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for all of us. I may not even be with you in a couple of years. I may be dead uh, or they may have killed me or, you know, uh, who knows, famine, plague, whatever. I mean, you know, most of y'all may use me for a witness and that may cost them a life. Who knows? I'm just saying you got to understand that this paradigm is shifting. And for those of us that's Gentiles, it's going to be rough for a season. Right? We're going through a shift change. Because the people that was on shift is coming off. And the people that's going on shift are going on shift for eternity. So this is not going to transition easy. No transition of power like this has ever taken place in the world. And ain't never going to happen again. So... You know, it's going to be how most of y'all wants it to be. And so, guys, I just, I hope that something I've said in the storm of life, in this storm today, uh, will bring you peace of mind on this because Israel will awaken. Them dry bones are going to stand up. 
the people that love y'all and the nations. Don't you let nobody, don't you let no hateful Hebrew tell you this. Don't you let your pastor man at the fake church house tell you this, that, you know, you ain't got a place with Israel. They is literally, when you look at it, it talks about the 144,000 and then a great multitude of every nation and kindred and tongue standing. There is going to be a multitude of people in the kingdom. You know, uh, what was it, Cyrus? King Cyrus, he said he was, I think that's he called my servant. He was called my servant. Well, he was a, he was, he was of the nations. All right, so you're going to see people of the nations, kings of the nations in the kingdom. It talks about the kings that are just, that, listen, a lot of these people, last thing I'm going to say this, a lot of these people that are that are Hebrews, they're waking up. you got to understand, their people were oppressed. They were mistreated. They were lied to. The truth of their ancestry is hidden from them. I'd be madder than dog smack, Okay. If I come to the knowledge of it. That's why you see them people marching in Springfield, Ohio the other day too. That spirit that's in a lot of them people. The way that they care about themselves. I'm telling you, there is good Hebrew Israelites out there that love uh, the nations. They love their brothers and sisters of their own kind. Uh, of their own people, you know. And um, <clears throat> and likewise, Gentiles love their own people and they love the Hebrews too. And, and you're going to see good people in the kingdom if we're counted worthy. But you got to just understand, just as the storm's passing right now, that one day it's all going to pass. And a lot of these worthless, waste of space human being people ain't going to be in that kingdom. So don't worry about them right now. All right? Hey, this is their time, baby. This is their life. This is their one uh, uh, FOMO. Uh, uh, no, 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 not FOMO. What is it? Uh, YOLO. Yeah, you only live once. Oh, you're dang right about that. Uh, actually, that ain't even actually true, though. You only live twice. Because you're going to die in this life, get resurrected, judged, and then barbecued. So that would actually be twice. So, um, so yeah, I might be incorrect on that. that we, can, we can't use that, that light. But, guys, let's try to find calm because this is the change. We are at the threshold of the end of the time of the Gentiles. And uh, it's going to be exciting be in the years ahead to watch as the transition of all things continue. Uh, to the culmination of Messiah returning and the kingdom of God being established. It's going to get wild out here, and it's going to be an exciting show to watch. And the best part, tickets are free. So, guys, as always, till we see you again here at Seven Trumps Prepper Channel, I hope most high y'all Baruch can keep you, make his face shine upon you, show you favor, and give you shalom, my friends, in Yahushua name.